if you're treating yourself as though you're not important, in order for Jesus to answer your prayer, he has to first change the way you treat yourself before he can change the way your cancer is treating you or the stock market is treating you or your family is treating you. Now, if you want to help your brother Jesus out to get this first part out of the way, which is how you treat yourself, so you can focus on the second part, which is getting your prayer answered, then you have to pray like you mean it. You cannot pray like a beggar. If I came to you and begged you for money, would you give it to me? If I came to you and I presented you with a deal that if you gave me $10,000, I would build you a custom home that's worth a million dollars, would you give it to me? Pray like you're the best investment the universe can make. Pray like you have something to offer. You're not asking, you're offering an opportunity for the universe to have fun, to co-create with you, to make money with you, to gain meaning and purpose by helping you. There's so much in it for the universe to help you. That is the first way to pray, to make a deal. Every religious tradition knows this, that God wants to help you, but first you gotta get out of your own way. So every religious tradition helps you get out of your own way. Buddhists believe in doing good deeds because then you earn karma credit. They call it merit. And then you can use your merit to pray for things. Hindus believe in karma. What goes around comes around. If you give good karma, you get good karma. If you give bad karma, uh, you gotta burn it, burn it before it comes back to you. Christians believe in tithing 10% of their income. It's a prepayment plan. Like you prepay for your good karma. And then when it comes time to use it, you got it. Catholics believe in confession, which is the same thing as burning up your bad karma before it has a chance to sprout wings, make a U-turn, and come back to roost. In confession, you tell a priest, hey, hey, I can't stop thinking about this girl and her huge butt in my math class. And the priest says, okay, you recite 100 Hail Marys and 50 Our Fathers every day. And he's basically saying, you got to pay. If you want to get what you want, you got to burn up your karma. You got to get your mind off of Chi Chi's butt and onto the Lord. After you pray in this way, then you can graduate to the next level of prayer which is, Lord, have mercy, make Chi-Chi fall in love with me. And should the good Lord open Chi-Chi's heart, what are you going to offer? You better be faithful and grateful, not throw away the opportunity. Otherwise, God will ignore the next time you pray. God will say, I gave you Chi-Chi with the big butt. Now you're asking for something else. You don't know how to say thank you and give me a good return on my investment. You got to pray in a way that makes God think every time I answer this guy's prayer, he turns around and makes something of himself. This guy is a good investment. Why? Because God is in the business of protecting you. And when you take a blessing and turn it into a curse, you make everybody look bad, including, including Jesus. And then people be saying, what kind of God is stupid enough to bless you? When you pray, you got to say, God, give me this blessing and I will turn it into two blessings. Bless me once is the same thing as bless me twice. I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to invest it wisely. That's gratitude. So let's make a deal with the universe. Name one thing you want to manifest and are praying for right now and write it down in your journal. So now before you do the next step, you want to just think in your mind, what will you offer in exchange while the universe is lining up your prayer request and preparing to give it to you? For example, you want money. Well, what will you offer? Will you give up smoking? 
Will you give up eating meat for a year? And notice what you're doing. Let's say you didn't make this deal. You're a smoker. What happens when the universe gives you $10 million? You'll probably smoke yourself to death because now you have the money to buy all the cigarettes you want. You're a meat eater and you're 74 years old. What happens when the universe gives you $10 million? You take all your friends out to Brazilian barbecue and Japanese Wagyu steak dinners every night and your kidneys fail. But if you give yourself a break from meat for a year, you actually get to enjoy the $10 million. The universe wants to give you the millions of dollars. It just doesn't want to kill you in the process. So it's waiting for you to make a deal where it's safe to give you the money. Please write in your journal, big money equals big trust. Make it safe for the universe to trust me. If you want something big from the universe, make it safe for the universe to give it to you.